live on the surface of a planet, spinning on its axis once every 24 hours. Its rhythms of day and night are embedded in the biological makeup of all life. During the day, we bathe in the glow of the sun. As night approaches, darkness takes over. It's a time to rest, to rejuvenate, to marvel at the beauty of the night. Until just over a century ago, our night skies were very dark. Now, even the wilderness is invaded by light. Our cities glow at night. Buildings are lit up. Unshielded lights blind us as we travel along our streets and roads. All these artificial lights overpower the darkness. The waste of energy is obvious, even from space. Much of that yellow glare the astronauts see comes from street lights. They produce most of the light pollution on the planet. The glare is scattered by the atmosphere, creating sky glows over the landscape. We are losing the dark of night at the speed of light. Light pollution threatens the health of every living thing on Earth. Lights at night disrupt plant growth. Unshielded lights contribute to the deaths of countless land and sea animals each year. Migrating birds crash into illuminated buildings. Newly hatched sea turtles mistake the glow of electric lights for the shimmer of the ocean's surface. Bright lights at night also directly affect humans. Drivers and pedestrians temporarily blinded by poorly designed lights have suffered tragic accidents. Light pollution poses a silent threat to our health. Exposure to light at night disrupts the circadian rhythms that regulate our sleep cycles. People working at night under bright lights or living in light polluted cities face a higher risk of developing diseases such as breast and prostate cancer. Here is a night sky with typical light pollution. On a good night, only the brighter stars and planets pierce the glow. This is what the night sky might look like if we could remove the light pollution. That faint band of light stretching across the sky is the Milky Way, our home galaxy. Because of light pollution, many people have never seen it. Astronomers know all too well the problems caused by lighting up the night. They need clear, dark skies to study the many fascinating objects in the universe. Light pollution simply washes out their view of the cosmos. Lighting up the night sky wastes money and fossil fuels. To keep a 100-watt light bulb turned on every night for a year, takes the equivalent energy output from burning half a ton of coal. Multiplied by the billions of lights blazing up from Earth, the cost of energy we use to light up the night is colossal. While lighting is needed, there are some simple things we can do to ensure that it's neighborhood friendly, energy efficient, and helps preserve dark skies. We can replace light fixtures that send light up to the sky with ones that direct light down, exactly where we want it. They're called fully shielded fixtures. 
we can also illuminate only the places that need it. And of course, we can just turn off unnecessary lights. These are smart ways to use lighting. They offer simple solutions to problems caused by light pollution. We have a choice between wasting resources by sending light to the sky or learning to use light more responsibly. Light pollution is a problem each of us can help solve. Together, we can bring back the dark of night to planet Earth.